All right, guys, uh, welcome. And uh, we have Brandon Eckel here. Brandon, thanks for taking the time to to chat with me. Uh, to start off, can you just tell us a little bit about your gym and where you're located? Uh, we're located in McMinnville, Tennessee, uh, kind of a smaller town, kind of sandwiched in between Cookville, which is the kind of the hub for CrossFit, really, with Rich being about 35 minutes away. Everybody knows Cookville. Nobody really knows McMinnville. But <laughs> um, I, I love what I do here. You know, I, I kind of got into CrossFit through the military. Uh, I found Seal Fit when I was in the military, and then when I got out of Seal Fit, I was trying to find something that was equivalent. And that's how I got into CrossFit. Complete accident. Got hooked on it and got tired of driving back and forth to Cookville. So decided to build my own gym, and here we are four years later. We're adding our second expansion, thanks awesome. to uh, Dante in the Impact Crew. Cool. So we'll talk a little bit about the, the Maverick system in a little bit, but um, can you tell us a little bit about where you were before we started working together? Um, so the past four years, what that looked like as far as growth, how quick did you feel like you were growing, and then maybe some of the marketing challenges that you had in, in expanding? Uh, prior to starting with you guys, um, we was running about 100 to 150 athletes, all organic, never really did anything paid with advertising. I just kind of figured out a way to, uh, to get people to market for us. Uh, I pour a lot of passion and, and energy into what I do here. So everything we'd done prior to working with you guys um, was zero, zero Facebook cost. Mm -hmm. um, everything we did was working well. It just, we kind of got to that point of like, we, we, we either got to do something or get off the pot. I'm just killing myself here in the gym and not necessarily not getting anywhere, just not getting anywhere fast enough because working full-time, coaching full-time. Uh, I'm still currently at this point working about 220 hours a week, but that's just because I'm building an expansion myself on top of I coach 12 hours a day and then a lot of the follow-up due to the impact system, um, working with the upgrades and things of that nature, ensuring everybody's getting – the advice they need as far as nutrition and, and either one-on-one -on -one counseling because something something's messed up like my hip hurts or whatever the case may be but going back to the the growth uh trajectory that you were on so you're working uh in the gym kind of doing a lot of organic stuff um before we started working together what made you uh pull the trigger like what got you most excited about uh wanting to work together i'm tired of killing myself <laughs> okay <laughs> pretty uh pretty cut and dry there um i realized that i am a freakishly good coach like i have got some infectious energy i suck as a business owner like as far as process and procedures follow up these are all things that i'm, I'm not good at so those are like i realized that i've got to have a very strong team to be successful and I need people in my life who know how to do the things that I don't so that I can learn how to do those things. Mm -hmm. Like at some point, I want to be self-sufficient, just like my athletes. I want to teach you everything I know as a coach so you know everything I know mm -hmm. so you don't need me anymore. Now, you're not going to go anywhere because you love what, what's going on here. But you know everything I know so that you're going to be successful as, as an athlete. Same thing goes with me working with you. I want to know everything you know. You're not going to go anywhere because I'm enjoying what's going on and what we're doing together. So that's where you came in. Fix my processes, fix my procedures, and then kind of help guide me on a path to, uh, to, be, to being successful as not only a coach, but as a business owner. Yeah, I love that. And I think you speak to something that I see a lot personally in the industry where someone starts a, a fitness business because they love dealing with people and they love coaching, but they don't quite have that sales and marketing side down yet. Um, so partnering uh, is typically a really good idea to, to explore uh, those options. Um, so going back to the campaign, can you tell me a little bit about the results? I know they're really exciting for you. You were like, am I doing this right? I'm, I'm getting sales so easy. Um, but what were your results as far as total memberships? And then what does it look like for you on the back end? So converting these into long-term members as well. 
once I got, I think it took about four or five days for me to actually feel comfortable with the processes and the procedures. I found that I was just naturally gifted at, at sales. Um, so ultimately we had 272 leads that came in. I think I ended up booking um, 168 appointments. And out of those 168 appointments, I sold 94 of them. Mm -hmm. And what I just recently did just this week is we just piggybacking off of that momentum that we created. I did a referral challenge for my six week challengers. And I basically told them I'm going to give you $50 uh, per person that you invite to come do uh, like, um, like an open house and an orientation on this coming Friday. So tomorrow night mm -hmm. and um, whoever brought the most in, I'd give them $500. Basically I'm going to give them their, their deposit back. And that was all organic word of mouth again, um, other than just giving them the $50, which basically I'm just going to give them a free month, which is another thing that I'm kind of needing some help with. Okay. Um, I've just recently realized that um, I have undervalued myself. And I'm sure that's something you and Birch um, hear quite a bit, but um, that has generated 18 more potential um, clients, just me doing this referral challenge awesome. with the 95 people. And that, that's just them bringing, bringing friends in. So we'll see how that play plans out, uh, tomorrow night. We're just going to do an open house, just do like a fun little workout and then have an orientation directly after that. Did you have fun? Cool. Here's, yeah. here's what's next. Yeah. Love that. Um, and that's something that we talk about in, in the next stage as well, moving into, uh, Titan. So building the million, million dollar gems, we have something similar, like a format similar to that. Um, so we can talk about that as well. Um, but for right now, how do you feel um, knowing the past that you came from doing organic, layering the Maverick system on top of your already successful gym? How do you feel now about the future trajectory that you're on? Um, we've, we've done very well. We have kept 93 of the 94 so far awesome um and every everybody so far to this point is like yes i'm gonna upgrade and i'm gonna stay i'm still struggling like i feel like i did really really well of getting them in the door but now i'm really struggling with trying to keep track of the upgrades like i'm way behind the power curve on that like everyone is absolutely loving it and they're they're like yeah i should have been here years ago mm -hmm. but i'm struggling with keeping up with the upgrades and that's just one thing that I know I struggle with follow-up and I do believe it's just because I'm putting in so many hours I've got a couple 17 too many irons in the fire to be able to truly focus where I, I know needs to be focused but if there was more revenue to be able to outsource this construction and I didn't have to do it and then pay the coaches where I didn't have to be in every class I could definitely focus a lot more on ensuring the follow-up happened that I know that I suck at. Yeah. Um, are you tracking that in the dashboard? Are you using the dashboard upgrade section to, to track that? Yeah. Okay. Yes. As best as we can. And I'm having my wife do that because she, she hates talking to people. She hates sales. She's in sales and she hates it. <laughs> That's something that she just gives me a list of these people are needing to have the have the talk you know or the conversation about upgrading and then i give her the paperwork for her to kind of go in the system and put either held scheduled whatever the case may be but we've got four kids and five businesses you know so she's she's doing the best she can to keep up with me and i'm doing the best i can to keep up with all them so i've got 150 clients plus these 95 challengers and i'm doing it pretty much solo so I'm, I'm kind of like struggling a little bit here. Yeah. I think the next step is, is just building your team. That's just going to be the natural progression in, in growing your business, of course. So that's something that we do help with uh, in the next step. Um, but going back to the expansion, this is really exciting. Can you, I know you showed me before we actually started the recording, but can you uh, just show us really quick the expansion that you're working on? Absolutely. Cool. As best you can. Because, I, like I said, I don't know what you see. 
other than like my face here. Yeah. I just kind of walked outside. So I'm working with currently adding 2,400 square feet, uh, six for the men's showers, um, and then of course dedicated storage on top of a screened in patio out here because I got a lot of people that just like to hang around and uh, never go home, which I'm cool <laughs> with. Uh, it's just currently I've got 1,800 square feet that I'm working with of actual floor space and roughly 250 people. So uh, right now I'm running about 35 to 42 people per class. Mm -hmm. And I've basically just turned my CrossFit class into a CrossFit light class. They're doing the exact same thing. I've just taken all the barbells out. We're using either a kettlebell, a dumbbell, or nothing. Like uh, performing a thruster with just air. And it, it works. It works very well. It's effective. They're, uh, they're getting more than they want. That's but it's awesome. the only way that I can fit. My normal CrossFit class would be like 12 to 15. And I'm able to basically triple that with the challenge class. I love that. And yeah, just as we're growing as a business, uh, your, your problems changed. The next problem is, well, how do I expand the space? How do I maximize the space to get as many people in here? Um, so it's, it's, it's working. Yeah, it's, it's exciting. Um, so wrapping up, Brandon, if you were to finish this sentence, um, what would you say? The Maverick system has changed my life by blank. What would you say in that? Well, it provided new problems, which is, which is great. Um, new problems. I would probably say that the, the boldest way to, to put what the magic system has done so far for me to this point is uh, creating new problems, exciting new problems. Love that. Cool. Well, uh, I appreciate your time. Um, excited about the the expansion. You got to keep us updated in, in the private group um, so everyone can follow uh, the build out. And uh, yeah, I appreciate it again and take care. Well, awesome, man. Cheers. Take care, brother.